So there have been movies about men falling in love with each other, women falling in love with each other, and now there's I Can't Think Straight. Disguised as a romantic comedy, this latest flick tells the story of Palestinian Tala and Indian Layla, who discover their feelings for each other. That, of course, all happens just before Tala is about to marry her Lebanese boyfriend in a lavish Middle Eastern-style wedding. And it gets even more complicated. Tala is a Christian, Layla a Muslim. Tala is outgoing, Layla is shy. Both families have their own ideas of what's good for their daughters. You can see where this is all going. What did I miss? I'm gay. But I've only been gone two hours. You always said you just wanted us to be happy. I lied. There are various elements that I guess people might find controversial that tend to be uh, traditionally uh, uh, touch papers for people's emotions, but I hope that people look past that. We try to deal with them in a light-hearted way. You know, I think I found those weapons of mass destruction Bush was looking for. How clever of him to disguise them as two Arab housewives. <laughs> I Can't Think Straight is also author Shamim Sharif's directing debut, but writing a story and turning it into a film are two quite different things, especially when it comes to directing those romantic scenes. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> Filming the love scenes on I Can't Think Straight was, um, for me as a first time director, I was I think I was more terrified than anybody uh, that particular day on set. Um, I knew what I wanted uh, conceptually from them. I wanted something uh, erotic, something sensual, something um, that expressed really the love between these two women. While the film tries to portray some serious and controversial issues, it fails to deliver any of this in any convincing way. But then let's not forget it is a love story after all. So our advice, be less critical, just sit back and enjoy.